1984, yeah right man, that's a typo, Orwell's here and now, he's living large, we have no names man, no names, we are nameless, that's what I think when I look around and see all the security cameras that are freaking all over the place, in North America, we are definitely unlike uh, the UK, which is in the way that uh, the, the government, the corporations don't own the cameras, usually the end user does, in this case, this is like a corporation camera, this is a security camera, 360, uh, one cam grand eye, which means you get a really good view of freaking everything. And this fell into my possession because it was uh, this first unit that was finally toast. This first unit that was in the garbage. Anyways, these are just for size reference. But here we have the one cam. The two tabs on the side. So that we can have it an on, uh, or sorry, di diagnostics, normal, NTSC or PAL. And flip it back and forth, but that must just be for the analog version. Look at how robust this is. They even give you an SD card for this thing. I think this thing retails for about 500 bucks. Anyways, need some simple Phillips head screwdriver to get into it and see what's on the inside of it. Seriously, though, man, we're going to be in a situation soon, probably about the next generation, where everybody's going to have a camera everywhere going on at all times and it's all going to be recorded all the time and we're going to have unlimited storage and all that fun stuff and the interesting thing about storage technology and all these things that we have is that in a certain time they're not going to be anything anymore nobody's going to care about it uh, i'm a data hoarder i probably have 10 terabytes of stuff and i don't really care too much about it i think i probably only read about one percent of all the books i downloaded audio books that i've downloaded and movies that i've downloaded too man back in the day this this was a big deal everyone was really pumped up because they could have their own uh electronic calculator and now it's like nothing 360 degree cameras man those are a big deal today in another generation it's probably going to be nothing nothing at all i was looking for one of these a while back anyways do i have all the screws yes i do yes i do now i'm just going to pop this thing open and let's see what's on the inside of it okay all right, let's have a quick look. What we got in yaw. Let me get some autofocus action. It's supposed to be uh, 2K, so I expect a lot out of it. And for something as expensive as this, I also expect a lot out of it. So, all right, the actual eye is in here. Terminations, that's what I want to see for something we spend an unbelievable amount of money on. And then I hate these little itty bitty terminations because sometimes you don't know how am I supposed to open this? Am I supposed to pull up, pull down, pull side to side? I'm wondering if that. Yeah, check this out. If seal is broken, I wonder if I could even break this if I wanted to. Oh, wait, you pull it off like that? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Geez, it doesn't even say void on the side. That's interesting. That is one bad void marker. Anyways, no, no, it's not going to be um, under warranty anymore. Okay, well, let's get this thing off up here. Eventually, we'll all have one of these on our doorbells. Man, having cameras on your doorbell, having wireless everything, it's all really nice until your router breaks, and then you got to connect everything up to your new router. And how do you do that? You go and try to do it again, and guess what? The apps aren't supported anymore. You can't find the download, this side of the other thing. It's just how it goes. Maybe that's going to be the next big leap when it comes to home security. Eventually, the Internet of Things is going to kick in, and you're just going to be using everything wirelessly through 3G. I guess that's uh, what they want. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, though, because, frick, the price of data is unbelievable in Canada. It's stupid. It's acidinely stupid. But in Canada, we have uh, three telephone corporations that control everything. I must be missing a screw somewhere. This thing doesn't... There we go. Oh, okay. I guess it was just a sticky pad. All right, what we got over here? So there's going to be no memory on this thing. All the chips that we have on here are going to be for... Oh, check it out! Check it out, check it out, check it out. We've got a battery on here to save the time and whatnot. One sec, let me have a 
quick look at that. That is an H, I think it's an H6203 battery. I freaking hate it. Let me solder these damn things on there, because then if you want to fix it. No, you can't do that. wonder if there's a special chip under here. Oh, I love it when that happens. Love it when that happens. So I guess this chip needs to be cooled down one sec. I remember one time there was a particular problem with Apple laptops. And it turned out there just wasn't enough pressure on a certain chip. So this is how they fix it. You send it in and they just put a glob back on it. So it pressed up against the case. Anyway, you know what? Just let me get a good view of all this stuff. There are folks that really like these motherboard things. The EV-005, 5 megapixel. I remember someone once told me that once you get 5 megapixels, you don't need anything else. That's all you need. Come on, autofocus. Texas Instruments, okay. This ain't, uh, this ain't a cheap. Come on, autofocus. This is not a cheap board. Interesting, we got that old USB there. Oh wait, gotta take the rest of that crud off here. I got some fans who really love it when I show every freaking aspect of the board. Okay, that chip is a Texas Instruments chip. It's good to know Texas Instruments is still in the game. Seem to be about one of the only things that are still in the game from forever ago. This autofocus is bit counterintuitive today I believe. So that's tied down. Probably just to be professional. I'm gonna be unprofessional, maybe just give it a little bit of a tug. Oh, okay. Okay. I wonder if I can just tug that out. And then if you want to do it professionally, pull that out. I wonder if it pulls up after that. These damn things. You think you understand which way they go and then you pull it a little one way or the other and it just breaks right off. Seems like uh, aluminum cases on these things. I have a hard time imagining why something like this would break. Beautiful technology though, beautiful technology. Come on, come on, there we go. Let's see if I can finesse this thing off at all. Okay, I am unable to get that thing out without damaging this. And I really don't want to damage it because I think this would make a really good steampunk piece if I put it on the perfect unit. Anyways, that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Now from Nasdaq Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, you got to take care of each other, right? Seriously, got this COVID-19 thing coming out. You got any friends you haven't heard from in a while? You might want to give them a call right now. Take care of each other. Seriously, folks. Have a good one.